Have you ever felt that the universe was trying to tell you something? That there were signs all around you and all you needed to do was pay attention? In life, we often search for meaning, for guidance, and for a connection with something greater than ourselves. For many, that connection is with God. And sometimes it feels as if God is sending us signs, gentle nudges in the right direction, or powerful messages that demand our attention. But how can you be sure if these signs are real? How do you know if God is truly trying to communicate with you? These questions have crossed the minds of many seekers, believers, and those going through tough times. Today, I want to explore the idea that when you notice certain signs in your life, it's quite possible that God is trying to communicate with you. This communication can come in many forms, and it often carries valuable insights, guidance, and comfort for your journey. The first sign to look for is a persistent feeling in your heart and soul. Have you ever experienced a deep, unshakable sense that you should be doing something or that a particular path is right for you? This could be God's way of guiding you. Sometimes we're so focused on our daily lives that we don't listen to our inner selves. But when that feeling persists, when it remains despite all the doubt and obstacles, it might be God's way of letting you know you're on the right track. Another sign is the people who come into your life. Have you ever met someone who seems to appear at just the right time, offering precisely the help, guidance, or support you needed? These encounters can be more than just coincidences. They might be a part of God's intricate plan for you. It's essential to recognize and appreciate the people who bring positivity, wisdom, and love into your life. They could be God's messengers. In a world where chaos often reigns, Moments of serendipity are remarkable. You know, those times when you think of a particular friend, and moments later you receive a call from them. Or when you stumble upon a book, a quote, or a piece of wisdom that seems tailor-made for your current situation. When these moments happen, it's as if the universe aligns itself for your benefit. Some might call it coincidence, but others see it as a sign that God is paying attention to your needs. Dreams and visions also play a significant role in spiritual communication. Have you ever had a dream that felt so vivid, so loaded with meaning, that you couldn't shake it off? These dreams are more than mere products of our subconscious. They can carry messages from a higher realm. Whether it's a dream of encouragement, warning, or insight, consider the possibility that your dreams are a channel for God's guidance. Prayer, meditation, and silence are essential elements in spiritual communication. Sometimes God communicates best in moments of quiet reflection. By clearing your mind, you create a space where God's whispers can be heard. It's in these moments that you might receive clarity, answers to your questions, or a profound sense of peace. Silence, as they say, is where the divine often speaks the loudest. Lastly, God may use nature to send messages. Have you ever been in a tough spot looking for guidance? And suddenly, nature provides an answer. Perhaps a bird, a tree, or even a rainbow caught your eye. The natural world can serve as a reminder of God's presence, offering signs and symbols that convey deeper meaning. Now, you might wonder why God communicates through signs and symbols instead of just speaking plainly. Well, sometimes, the subtlety of signs allows us to explore and understand them more deeply, providing a profound sense of growth and connection also, the act of seeking these signs often brings people closer to God. It encourages us to be attentive, to be patient, and to be open to the wonders of the world. So the next time you notice these signs in your life, consider them as an invitation to a deeper connection with the divine. Embrace them as signals from God, guiding you on your path. And remember, you don't need to navigate life's journey alone. The signs are there, and God is trying to communicate with you. Are you ready to listen? In conclusion, recognizing the signs that God is trying to communicate with you can lead to profound insights and a stronger spiritual connection. These signs can manifest through persistent feelings, the people you encounter, serendipitous moments, dreams and visions, silent reflection, and the wonders of nature. Instead of dismissing them as mere coincidences, embrace these signs as messages from the divine, guiding you on your life's journey. In paying attention and being open to these signs, you can foster a deeper connection with God and experience the profound wisdom and guidance that the universe has to offer.